This case is grim. It is grim and dark and sad. You, Ms. Rita Hamlet and Ms. Tanya Hamlet, your sisters. You, Ms. Josephine Farr, are not the defendant's daughter. You're the daughter of another sibling. You are the niece to both the plaintiff and the defendant. Yes. You, Ms. Martinea Purvis, as I understand it, you are the defendant, Ms. Tanya Hamlet's daughter. Yes. So I have four women related squaring off in a lawsuit over a fight. Ms. Hamlet, you are suing your sister and your niece for $5,000 for emotional distress that you say arose from an occasion where they assaulted you. Ms. Hamlet and Ms. Farr, you contend that you don't owe the plaintiff anything, that she provoked this very sad and unfortunate situation. It's your case, Ms. Hamlet. It's your burden of proof. Just so we're clear, you're suing for emotional distress damages. And what people need to understand when they're bringing a lawsuit for emotional distress damages, you don't get damages just because you're in a situation that somebody made you mad. The legal standard is the conduct must have been so extreme yes. that it goes beyond the bounds of decency. Now. On one hand, one might say that any altercation where grown folks are fighting in front of a one-year-old baby goes beyond the bounds of decency, but our examination won't end there. Did you try to hit your sister while she was holding her grandchild? No, and she's lying. Mm -hmm. I tell came me, in tell my house. It's done. Stop. You're done. When I came in tell my house, I'll never say nothing else to her. Hey, you know no what? More. Hold up. Tell your version, please. Once I came in the house, I had to ask Josephine why was she there. It's 3 in the morning. They talking. I left and got in the shower. She's a liar. Oof. I never even touched her with her grandbaby. When I came downstairs, I heard my name, and I said, don't say my name if I'm not down there to defend myself. When I come down, she's standing up over her, and I'm telling Josephine to back up. I'm like, calm down, what's going on? So she started telling me the story. I start telling Josephine it's time to go. I have neighbors that go to work. And then at some point in this horrible situation, Martinea, you arrived, yes? Can you take the stand, please? Yes. What time did you come home that night? Um, it was about two. My mom picked me up with my daughter in my car because my mom was watching my daughter while my aunt was at home watching her grandbaby. So the sisters were at home with their grandchildren. <laughs> so um, Josephine was also at the party. Um, I didn't know Josie was gonna be there. Me and Josie hadn't been talking like that at the time. But um, after the party, she decided to come to my car and tell me, basically apologizing, and she wanted us to be like cousins, how we always been. Like, she seen me as a big sister and all of this. But Josie was a little intoxicated. However, um, I don't drink like that, and I didn't drink at the party because I know how I what get. What did you see when you came home? Okay, um, upon arrival, I saw Josephine's car outside. I told my mom, I'm not going to your house because Josie is there, me and my baby going home. So um, I went to sleep. They called me, my mom, I heard my mom, um, my phone ringing and my sister have seizures. So that's the only reason why I answered the phone for my mom. And it was about maybe four in the morning then. Yeah. So I'm like, hello? I like, All I heard was, ugh, and tussle. And I said, Tiana, get up, get up. We gotta go to Granny House. I think Auntie Rita and Mama fighting, come on. When you arrived, Martinea, did yes. you see physical contact between any of the litigants? No, <laughs> um, when I came in with my daughter and Rita was sitting on the couch like, like that, right? And my mom was on her stairs, which is if you walk in her house, it's to the left, and she had her hand like this and she was crying. But there was no physical contact at the time. Not at that time. All right, you can sit down now. Thank you for your testimony. Okay. Your Honor, can you ask her what no, this, I, what's no, her first you know words? What? You know what? The question I am going to ask is, what in the heck do you think is going to happen to a one-year-old child growing up when adults act like this? I am scared to death for this baby. I am scared to death Don't be for scared, her. Your Honor. I sure am. I'm done with them. I sure Let am. Let me tell you. And you know what? I am also gonna end where I started. You are suing your family members because you Because I'm say cutting them loose. You when she did are this, so she done went too far. Distressed. You cannot control she yourself too far, even in this Honor. courtroom. I don't know if this case is about your emotional distress or your joint dysfunction.